guys so today i wanted to do a quick little uh, q a when it comes to red hair i had so many i tried to answer as many as possible uh but then it, there's just too many on all my different red hair videos and product reviews so i figure i'm gonna make an all-in-one video i'll probably have to do more than just this one but at least hopefully some people can find this and it makes it a little bit easier for you uh don't mind this is actually a fade so before we can get to that if you guys are wondering um I've been using Manic Panic to live back red uh, for the past little bit now. I faded out my hair pretty much and then did like a bleach wash. Um, really got a lot of those colors out because uh, I was starting to look muddy after like years of constantly doing the different reds. I had had purple, yada yada yada. But however, this is just Manic Panic Pillar Box Red. I was using Good Dye Young. It's just harder to come by. Uh, so for me to stay consistent on it, to be honest. So that is why I just went back to Manic Panic and it's cheaper. Uh, but if you guys can see here, um, I know the coloring isn't fully correct, but it kind of fades uh, just about a month in for me. And I'm not purposely trying to fade it. This is what me trying to do as minimal as possible. But it fades to like a dark highlighter pink and it kind of goes into shades of that highlighter pink, at least for me, um, from bleached hair. That's what it looks like, uh, which I like personally, this fade, because I feel like I can get away with it. Uh, this fades more on the pink side, which I do prefer when my red hair is fading. We're going to get into that too. Let's have a whole separate video on different red hair dyes, how they fade, their undertones, and all that. Cause a lot of you guys ask, so we will get into that. But that will be a whole different video. But there's a few things I wanted to touch on. I know I get a lot of questions on the No Fade Fresh Shampoo and Conditioner. I still have the shampoo. Um, I actually I repurchased that because it's nice because that's where I mainly lose a lot of my color is my roots. Um, I haven't been um, updating this as much because I like to let it uh, fade as much as possible before I put more on uh, so I don't get so much of a color build up. Also, I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with this just yet, so I'm letting it be for now. But that works really well, both the shampoo and the conditioner. Um, I really like it. I think they smell great. They work really good. My hair doesn't feel dirty. It actually feels clean from the shampoo and it adds color back in. Um, because I've tried a few of them, but I definitely like that one the best. I will say make sure uh, you, when you put like your shampoo near your roots, okay, the conditioner at the end, make sure you wash really, really, really good, okay? Especially like up here because um, the shampoo, you might not realize you didn't get it all out and it can make it feel kind of weird. So make sure you definitely wash it out and wash it out well. Um, I will suggest that. I know there were some questions of staining. Uh, it doesn't do anything to my tub, but again, I don't know what kind of tub you have, so that's important. Mine's just like a normal, basic, um, I don't know what kind of tub it is. Like, it's, I don't think it's ceramic, it might be ceramic, I don't know, I'm not I'm sure. Um, might be, I don't know, but I just take and use a little bit of bathroom cleaner, takes it right out. Because uh, I know, like, it won't stain as much as, like, if you're dyeing your hair, like, Manic Panic and all them kind of stain where you might need to put something with bleach in it. I don't need something with bleach in it to take off. Normally a little bit of Lysol bathroom clean or something, spray it on, rinse it off, wipe it off, and it should come right up. Um, I haven't had an issue with it, but then that's my tub, so just do note that. Um, and normally when, this is for you guys too, when I am drying my hair and I wash it out and it does kind of do like that pinky reddish stain with pretty much all of the dyes, it does it. It did it with the uh, good dye young the least like I had like nothing on my tub so that was a side note though um, but um, when any of the other ones like this leaves kind of a pink when I wash my hair I just put a little bit of bleach in it and it comes right up like I literally just splashed some bleach on it um, or you could do the Clorox with bleach or the Clorox disinfecting with bleach either one of them um, spray it it comes right up I don't even have to do anything it just it comes right up I uh, leave it there for a few minutes put some water on it's gone uh, at least for me and my tub, but that's what I do. Um, magic erasers work really good. Uh, if you get any in your sink or anything, they work great. Uh, so I do recommend having magic erasers. They are great. Uh, but to get more into that, but uh, I definitely recommend those. And yeah, the No Fade Fresh, I love it. I think it makes my hair feel so soft. And there was those of you who asked. Uh, they do have ones that have no color deposit in it. And it's just like a plain mask. You, uh, do if you like try it I, I haven't tried it i've only done the ones with the color in it um i've tried the red and then i've tried the purple when i had the purple i was trying to think what the color i think it's just called purple i'm pretty sure and bright red is the one i use i'm pretty sure but i've tried both of them um 
just a conditioner of the uh, bright purple and a purple shampoo and conditioner of the bright red. Um, I bought the conditioner twice and I bought the shampoo three times. Uh, I still got the shampoo uh, in my shower now. Um, it just really helps upkeep it, keep it nice because I'd rather just honestly make my own like kind of conditioner. I find that to be easiest is just to make my own because it's really simple. Um, taking whatever color you have as long as it's semi-permanent mixing in with a white conditioner woof, you got your own it's your very own you know uh, it adds color to your conditioner woof, that's it uh, so i do find that to be easier so i don't feel the need to keep buying that however when it comes to the shampoo part i like to do that and i do not do that every time i take a shower um, i only do it like once every like I think when I was really trying to upkeep my hair like red to like a degree where it could never look like it looks faded I was continually trying to keep this up so it did not look like it faded every other week I would use the red shampoo and conditioner because then it made it so it would not fade at all but um, you need to have some sort of you know clean 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 I'm just some regular sometimes but every other week I'd like to do that but I like it I think it worked well and so I think it's important to answer that. Sorry, I keep touching my hair, but it's click I'm talking about. It's like, ooh. Um, but to answer your question as to what I'm doing right now, um, honestly, I'm just letting it chill right now. I'm 50-50 what I want to do. Um, I got most of the color out, and then I recolored it this. And I like the fading of it, this kind of pretty pink. And I'm like, I don't know. Like, I kind of want to do a pink, but like a lighter pink. So I'm going to wait and see before I do anything. I'm not purposely trying to fade this. Um if so i got some tips on that as well again i'm gonna put that in a different video so it's not too much um, but i do know because uh, normally i keep it up like this is really faded um, my roots are really faded but uh, normally i keep it up and i'm constantly on the ball with it but i'm kind of giving it a break letting it chill i want to see 100 percent what i want to do with it i want to see how exactly how light this fades especially because my hair is super bleached um underneath i want to see how this fades and I figured that'd be interesting. Um, the only thing that's going to look bad is my roots. They're going to look so, so bad when they start to come in. Uh, but we'll get to that when we get to that. But I want to see. But I'm not purposely trying to fade it. Um, just wash my hair when I need to. Um, sometimes it'll still fade. Sometimes without. Uh, it really depends on what my hair needs at that time. Uh, so I kind of mix it up. But uh, yeah, I'm not purposely trying to fade it. Right now I'm just letting it chill. Uh, it looks crazy right now because... I was out all day. I've been up since, I've been up since three something. And then I've been out doing things. I was making videos at like four something, five something in the morning. And then um, I was out and about like all day. And now it's like six o'clock at night. <laughs> and uh, now it looks crazy. It was kind of like raining earlier too. And it did look nice doing this. Now it just looks like this. But that's kind of just what it looks like when it dries. So. You know, again, it wasn't as frizzy because it got wet because of the rain. It looked a little bit more tan, but it is what it is. But uh, yeah, I'm just kind of letting it be. I'm not purposely trying to fade it, but uh, like I'm not like trying to keep it up either. So uh, we're just going to see if you're just doing general just hair things, how exactly this fades. Um, as I said, it was actually a month today. Um, I dyed it on July 28th. So it's been a month today since I dyed it the initial time. And uh, But the thing is, this is the thing. I was first using the no fade fresh shampoo so do note that so i just stopped using that only a week ago so if not this probably would be more faded so i have to be fair and be honest and upfront about that so this would have been more faded so um you can't fully go by this but from here on out now we can go by it for what i'm going to do but uh some parts are lighter than others but yeah i do like how this fades more pink uh, but I'm getting off topic. I'm going to do a separate video where I talk about the different red hair dyes, their undertones, how they fade, how they last, all that. As well as I'm going to do a video on how the different ones, how it's best to like remove a lot of them. And then ones that do not like to remove because I feel like that's important too. Because uh, there are some that will stain your hair, bleached or non-bleached. At least for me and uh, my different types of trial and error. So I will let you guys know and... A multiple part series but i did want to give you guys a quick overview and talk on some things and answer a, hopefully i think a bunch of questions fingers crossed but uh thanks so much let me know uh what you guys thoughts are um maybe some questions you guys have uh what you guys think and all that let me know 
But let me know down below what you guys' thoughts are. Maybe any questions you guys have that you guys would like me to, you know, let you guys know about this and such. Um, I love, I love to answer them. Um, thanks so much. I know those videos will be coming out soon. And hopefully I'll have some questions on this one before I make those so I can kind of go in and put them in there as well. But yeah, I wanted to make sure to touch base. Uh, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It means a lot to me. Uh, Alright, thanks guys. Bye.